Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It's Monday, July 22nd. I've got eights and fives in the top rows. I can put a five and an eight. Oh, well, actually, I have all three eights. Bottom rows, I get a 7. In the middle rows, I'll get a 9, and that's all I get from the looks of things. Okay, if I go by columns, 9's in column 2. Is that all I get? 4, 3, 5, 6, 9, 7, 8, 2. In the middle columns and on the right, I have eight, five, three, six, seven, two, one. So yeah, that looks like all I get now. Let's see. This cell can't be one, two, three, four. Five, six, or nine. That one's down to seven or eight only. Are either of those restricted? None of them can be one, four, two, five, or nine. I don't know how much in the way of help, do I? And see, these cells here. Can't be 2, 5, 8, because they all see the same column by 2 and 8, and then 5, and then 3, 6, 9. So these are all 1, 4, 7. And they form a triple. So those are 3, 5, 6, 9. As are these, well, that one can't be five, but this one could be. So two eight ends up as an offset pair to complete box five. Okay, those four cells can't be one, four, nine. Either the three cells. And then 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, well, this sees 2, 3, 6. And it sees 7, 8. This one can only be 5. Let's see. Uh, this ends up being 3, which I knew I should have seen already. Let's see, those can't be 2, 5, 7, or 8. No, I haven't placed a 6 here, but I don't... Okay, six ends up in two spots. There. No. Where does six go in row three? Unfortunately, these could both be six also. And that ends up as one six or nine. This one ends up as one three only. This is one, four, or nine. It could be three. It cannot be three or six. Let's see. Two comes down here and goes there, but that still leaves three spots for two in box nine. Two in box seven is restricted from those highlighted cells, but that still leaves me with four different options. A 
Let's see, three, four, five are out. A row six here. Uh, this can't be two or eight. This can't be seven, two or one. Okay, now those are five, six, or nine. Okay, I've got five there. Well, actually, five is in two spots. Uh, neither of those cells are eight. None of these are one or nine. Then I have to go by column. Let's clean the rest of box six, row six up. Hmm. Okay, this can't be one or two. Uh, from one, two, six, eight, nine, unfortunately, only thing that sees is two. Oh. That can't be eight. Okay, if I said one, six, eight, nine was in here, that this might be a hidden quad. But I'm missing a digit. Where does seven go? That doesn't work. That logic doesn't work because that could be seven. Well, actually. Oh. We've now determined where does seven go in column four? It can't go here or here by derived pair or here by placement. The more powerful logic is one, six, eight, nine. Those digits in dark blue form a hidden quadruple. Because 2 and 7 can only appear in those two spots. And this must be 2, and that must be 7. That takes out a 2 and an 8. From... Box five, and this being out for a two, so that places a two in row six. Now that also places a two down there. This one six seven nine in row six is another hidden quadruple. Okay, now we might be getting somewhere. Where exactly does two go in column five? It can only go in one of those two spots. Six, seven, eight, nine. I need one through five inclusive. For the remainder of column five. And well, I don't have much help. This could still be nine. That doesn't help me. With respect to row two, row three, excuse me, now. One, two, five, seven, eight. I need three, four, six, and nine to fill out the rest of column two. This is three or four only. That could be anything but nine. Okay, this was not helpful. These cells in box one can't be two, five, or eight. And they all three of them see a four. They see nine, that sees seven. This sees nine. Okay. There's another one, three, six, seven here. 
contained entirely within box 1, because 4 and 9 can only appear in those cells. within box 1. Therefore, this cell can't be 4 and must be 3. That's a 6. Let's see. None of those are 5. None of those two are 6. Now, if this isn't 5, column 6, so that must be in box 2, which makes this a 2. Okay, 5 is now there. In column 1. Okay, 3, 6, 7, 9 in box 7. I need 1, 2. 4, 5, 8. Okay, that one's four or eight. One, it can't be two. Could be four, it can't be five. This is eight. Well, neither of those can be four, and that's not five. Uh, telling me those are four doesn't do any good. What I'll do is I'll just make this a little bit easier to see. So these light blues cells, like blue sky cyan, they're the hidden quadruples I've found. One of them in the box in, in column four, the other one in box one. That allows me to place a lot of things. Now, the only thing I haven't done is fill in the right sort of the grid. Now, do I have enough to go on? Well, four has to go there, right? I don't have enough to go on because those cells could still be one, two, four, eight, but not one. That quad doesn't help me at all, does it? Those two are not one, two, six, or seven. Okay, where does six go? in row seven. Those aren't six because of that. These aren't six because of this six in the box. So digit six is right there. Oh, and guess what? This three, six, nine in column six, that's a triple, I'll go ahead and mark it. Let's see, these five cells are not five, seven, or eight. Those aren't two. These aren't four. Those two aren't three or six. These two are not one or two. Let's see, this can't be 6 because of that. 6 can't go here because of this and these two. This isn't 6 by column 2, so where does 6 go in box 1? There's only one space for it. So, all four of those cells, you can remove it. 
137, that's now left as a triple, but that doesn't really help me much, does it? But I do have a 149 triple in row 3 that allows me to place the 3. And in turn that 3. Column six, that sorts out the rest of box eight. That should help me quite a bit. Five, this can only be a two, that can only be a one. Three, seven, one. That two is a one, this is seven. That's six, that's three, this is eight. Finishing off row eight. And then row seven. Let's see. Nine comes up to C's three and four, so that's six, three, five. I think I broke the puzzle. Finally. This can only be a nine. Six, nine go in that order in column six. That sorts out four, nine in column two. I have enough information to sort out the 147 in column 6. Let's see, and the only things left here are 5 and 8. And 16 minutes. Well, this wasn't terrible. I think the key here was finding not one, but two hidden quadruples. And if I hadn't found those, I'd have been lost.